Hey guys, Mathemish here. Uh, this is my guide on how to disc. Let's start with the talents. For your first talent, you want to go with Angelic Bulwark because it's a passive and it has saved me many, many times. For the second one, you want to go with Angelic Feather because it's more flexible than Body and Soul. Solace is the best way to manage your mana and it will also be the main spell you use to build up stacks for Archangel. The 60 talent doesn't really matter that much for you won't really have to CC any adds. Power Infusion is a good cooldown for where you need to push your healing. Cascade is the best choice because you won't be stacked up with both melee and range at the same time. And finally, Clarity of Will, because it's a great second shield to keep your tanks up or to soak undispellable dots on your DPS. Now for the glyphs. The first glyph I use is the Glyph of Holy Fire. It increases the range of your solace so you can be further away from the boss to heal range DPS. The second one is the Glyph of Penance. This is the most important glyph, you must have this, for it allows you to cast Penance while moving, for which you will be thankful when you're running away from fire like a mentally challenged llama. The third glyph is the Glyph of Weakened Soul. By using this you'll be able to spam your Power Word Shield every 10 seconds instead of 12. In case there's a dispellable debuff, you can also swap your Glyph of Holy Fire for the Glyph of Purify. This will now heal 5% of the target's maximum HP whenever you successfully dispel a debuff. Shield the tank before he pulls, so you don't lose any mana. When the tank gets impaled, focus your power word shield and clarity of will on him and let the other healers take care of the rest of the raid. Try to always stand behind or close to an active fire pillar so you don't have to run for the angry orc that is chasing you if you get fixated. Shield people with the debuff and prioritize those with the most stacks. Make sure the group that goes up gets healed, for that healer can't heal during Chain Hurl.
I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.